In this video, we're gonna go over four different ways to haul your bike so your bike doesn't fly out and hit the ground. Just watch it, it's gonna be great. Okay, are we ready? Are we rolling? All right, I'm gonna explain the first one real quick to you guys. The first way you load your bike is just like this. One thing, one disclaimer I gotta make is that we have different chuck beds lengths, right? This is a six and a half. So this particular bike would fit in the back of the truck with the tailgate up and life would be good. If it was my 450 or a bigger bike, it won't do that, right? Or if you have a five and a half foot bed, which most uh, four door F-150s and you know, mid-sized trucks come with, um, so make sure that you understand the length of your bed so you can kind of evaluate which one's best for you. So the first thing that we have right now is bikes in, we're gonna keep tailgate down. We're imagining that our wheel is a little too long. We don't wanna mess with putting the tailgate halfway up, so the tailgate's down. The only thing you gotta think about here, and I've done this a million times and it works out, is just securing the items that are in the back of the truck. If you get lazy, don't wanna mess with the tailgate, roll the bike in, just make sure your gear bag and your gas and your stand and your tools and all that stuff is secured and it's not gonna slide out the back of the truck. All right, second way is going to be where, like, like I said, we're imagining the bike doesn't fit all the way, but we wanna secure our items now. We don't want our stuff to fly out the back. We don't have to worry about strapping in and all that. So what you can do on most tailgates is you can lift the tailgate halfway up and then you can take the tailgate cord or whatever you wanna call it and wrap it around the hinge. And once you do that, your tailgate's gonna kinda come back a few feet to give you room for the bike, but it's also not gonna let any of your stuff fly out the back. So just push forward, unlatch it, and then boom, you're good. Hey, don't make fun of my dented up tailgate, it came this way. Hey, one thing that would be super helpful for the channel is we just had a small partnership with motorsportsoutlet.com. If you buy any parts off Motorsport, you click the link down below, you can use our code basically to uh, support the channel. So if you buy any parts and you want to support us, it doesn't cost you any extra money, and uh, we would love that. Number three. Pretty much the easiest thing in the world to get your tailgate to shut all the way. Here we go. You're gonna kick the bike sideways. The only thing that you wanna think about when you're kicking the bike sideways is making sure that it's pulled on the side of the back ends down to get the bike up more level, right? Because a lot of times you'll kick it sideways, this strap loosens up a little bit, but now we have space to uh, shut the tailgate all the way without the back tire interfering. We still have plenty of space to get all of our belongings in there. Nothing flies out. It looks kind of cool going into the track. You look like you already know how to whip when you're pulling in. And so, yeah, that's number three. All right, we got number four. This one's kind of cool, a little tricky. If you're loading two bikes and you want to shut the tailgate, keep all your stuff in from plying out, what you can do is meet the two front tires in the middle of the bike. This is also a trick if you've got two bikes and you don't have enough straps. So you want to meet the two front wheels in the middle of the truck. You then want to take your back tire and secure it to the side of the truck. Okay, that's going to hold it in side to side. You're going to take one strap, pull it down tight, sort of tight. It's going to keep the bike from moving. Same thing on both sides. So you've got locked in from front to back. And when you shut the tailgate, it's kind of secured to the back tire, especially with the six and a half foot bed, kind of wedges it in there. And so the bike won't go anywhere. I just went riding yesterday and it worked perfect with two bikes. So this is kind of cool hack. If you don't have enough straps and you want to shut your tailgate with two bikes with a six and a half foot bed. All right, guys, hopefully your bike's secure. It's not flying out of the back of the truck. Just something quick we want to give you guys. We have plenty of videos where you can find almost anything you need to know over here, check that out. And don't forget to hit our Instagram up. It's at the MX factory. Uh, how you can help support the channel is just hitting like, subscribe. And then we have a Patreon account where you can make super small monthly donations to uh, just keep this channel growing. And we uh, always love you guys and we'll see you next time.